But even though she had gone to teacher's college, even though my mom was, was, was really keen on early childhood edu education, her work was studied by Barbara Clark, no relation, and in fact, her Clark lacks, lacks the E, but she was a professor at York University. She studied my mom's work um, in terms of the daycare programs that she started in, in Halifax. So, so she was a very brainy, very thoughtful uh, person herself, uh, my mom. But her orientation was totally towards the folk, totally towards the people. Uh, my father was, was big on the classical music. It was Beethoven and Bach and Brahms and, and so on. My mom, James Brown. James Brown, that's her prince. The Temptations, Wilson Pickett. It was like, uh, uh, she looked white, but she was culturally very black. My father looked black, but culturally was very white. So I had, I had these contradictions in, in my home, and this also played out in terms of language. So my father was like very strict with the English, and my mom was very relaxed and casual, and an occasional mild four-letter word here and, here and there. Um, and, and, but it was also very open, both my parents were very open with my brothers and I about uh, helping us to know and experience the world. From the encyclopedias being in, in the home to lots of walking trips around Halifax, uh, 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 getting us on the train to go here and go there, because my father worked for the railway, so we had a railway pass. So we got as far west as Winnipeg, came to Toronto when I was seven, went to, we went to Expo 67. Wow! You know, I was already conditioned to love all those pavilions and, all the, and the idea of all these different countries and, and so on. And my father, as, a, as an artist himself, visual artist, filled our home with his own art, but then, but then also reproductions that, that he would purchase and, and put up and do little experimental things with European time. art. European art, yeah. Ron Braun, I remember uh, very well. The uh, colonizer's art. The colonizer's art, yeah. Because... Nothing wrong with the colonizer's no, art. No, 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 there isn't, but... but yeah, I'm also I'm also just thinking. Oh, and by the way, I got this. This memory comes back to mind too, because he was very much a Renaissance man in lots of ways. Here he was. He is a railway worker for crying out loud. But he went to a labor college, a labor college in Montreal in 1967 to study socialism and labor uni unionization and so on. Right. So he had that whole that whole side uh, uh, going on for him as as well. And at the same time, he's doing his art, visual art. And trying to be a painter as well, but he's a railway worker, for crying out loud. But nevertheless, at the same time, he's he's really interested in all these other abilities and things and talents and ways to put himself forward in the world. So, 1966, uh, uh, John Hobday, who was then the uh, director of Neptune Theater in Halifax, 1966, cast my father in the in the Swiss play, The Physicist, as the policeman. So here I am, I'm a tyke, I'm a kid, I'm four, five, six years old growing up, of course, but in my home, I have uh, um, my mom, who's got Alexa McDonough working for her, reporting to her. I've got my dad, who's working for the railway, but who's also on stage in Neptune Theater, who's uh, telling us all the time about his aunt, uh, Portia White, the great singer, who sang before the Queen. So when we're going out the door, my brothers and I are going to school, working class school, military brats, and all the rest, working class, minority kids, immigrant kids, and so on, being warehoused by the education system uh, in our working class schools. Uh, if anything ever happened in the school where anybody tried to say anything diminishing, <clears throat> my aunt sang for the, sang for the queen. What, what, what's your aunt? What did your aunt do for the queen? Did your, Maybe your aunt had, maybe your aunt curtsy at one point. My aunt sang. You know, so, so there, there's a big difference. My, my dad was on stage. You know, my dad was up there with, with um, Sidney Poitier, for crying out loud. I put my dad on the same stage with Sidney Poitier. I go and see Sidney Poitier in a, in a film. I think my dad was an actor. So did this imbue you with ambitions? Not really. I think mainly I grew up with a sense that anything was possible. Okay. Yeah. It's an ambition. Yeah, it is. It is an ambition. 